Warning, if you're like me who likes to hear and see some gruesome and nasty injuries, this video is for you. If you're weak and can't handle it, just watch it anyway. Hockey players are tough. One minute, they get hit by the puck, and the next thing you know, they're pulling their own teeth out. Like, Duncan Keith lost seven teeth in one playoff game, and for hockey players, you're considered lucky if you only lost your teeth. Number 5. Gregory Campbell During the 2013 playoffs on a penalty kill, Gregory Campbell blocked a shot from the Russian Gino himself, and upon immediate contact, Campbell's fibula was broken. But the referees didn't blow the whistle, and Campbell stayed on the ice for an entire minute. Even though he was going through unimaginable pain, he still stood his ground while getting into the shooting lanes. After the game, his head coach stated that it didn't surprise us because that's just who he is. And then you have LeBron James, who gets carried onto the bench because a little, little leg like, cramps. But who am I to talk? In grade 9, I sat out a basketball game because I had a cold. Number 4, Joe Thornton. Just before the 2017 playoffs, Joe had suffered a torn MCL and an ACL, which looks like this. Now, I'm not a science major, but damn. That must hurt. With the Stanley Cup window closing in at the age of 37, he decided to suit up for the playoffs without a full recovery. His head coach Peter DeBoer said that, I've never seen a player play with a torn MCL and ACL. Basically, his knees floating there. The Sharks ended up losing in 6 games, but Joe ended the series with 2 assists in 4 games, averaging almost 19 minutes per game. Not too bad for a guy who didn't have a knee. When asked about his injury, Joe simply said, just the normal stuff that hockey players deal with. Number 3, Trevor Linden. For the last four games of the Stanley Cup Finals in 1994, Trevor Linden suffered from cracked ribs and a torn rib cartilage. His teammate Cliff Ronning said that when the doctors injected a needle into Trevor's ribcage, you could hear his scream all the way down to the hall to the locker room. And when Trevor came back from the medical room, he would act as if nothing had happened and just got ready for the game. On top of the rib injury, Linden gets a flying elbow right on his head. When Linden was desperately crawling to his bench, he was hit again by Vancouver's most favorite player, Mark Messier. And boy, did he play. In Game 7, Linden scored two goals for the team, but the Canucks came short as the Rangers took the cup with a score of 3-2. Number 2, Eric Carlson. Late parts of the 2017 season, Eric Carlson blocked a shot which resulted in torn tendons in his left foot as well as hairline fractures. But this man carried his team to the Eastern Conference Finals, leading in points and average time on ice with almost 30 minutes a game with basically one foot. He also played at a world-class level and oftentimes dominated his opponents. So it makes me wonder. Is Eric Carlson an alien? Number 1. Patrice Bergeron In Game 4 of the 2013 Stanley Cup Finals, Bergeron suffered from a torn rib cartilage. Then in Game 5, he suffered from broken ribs. Because the doctors thought Bergeron had a ruptured spleen, he had to leave for the hospital during the second period. And thankfully after checkup, everything was fine. Except for the pain that felt like a knife was thrusting against his organs every time he took a breath. So he was like, you know what? I'm gonna play the next game. And during game 6, he separated his right shoulder and then a little after that, one of his broken ribs actually punctured his lung. This eventually caused his lungs to collapse, and Bergeron had to head back to hospital after finishing Game 6 and after finishing the handshake like a true gentleman that he is. Most of his teammates didn't even know Bergeron had these injuries until Bergeron announced it to the media and stated, I wasn't the only one going through pain. Hey guys, thank you for watching, and I'd like to introduce you to Fusion Hockey. Honestly, I think they have some great designs and a lot of potential. 10% discounts on all products, and it's only available for you guys. So a hoodie will cost you around $35 USD total. So click on the link below to let the world know that you have good taste. Also, I want to thank my patrons on Patreon, Rayloy, Raphael Sankerny, Daniel Melko, and Aaron Cunningham.